browsers slacks. Note, it is recommended to use a meta ruler that is 12 inches long by two and a half inches in width for easy marking in Taylor's chalk. Suggest creating a military hem, a one inch angle from the front to the back at hemline to keep fabric from breaking too much at the instep. All tailors must know to pin the front and then pin to taper the back. Hem. As you lay the pant on the flat surface, make sure you line the top waistband edges together. Smooth the legs flat and make sure the side seams are together. By doing this, we are making sure that both right and left hems are equal in length. In case there is a difference on left and right sides, you want your hem marks to be even while lying flat. Align the ruler edge straight across from the marked front hemline. Check the back hem markings to see if it's parallel or slanted with the front marking. The back should be angled down at a maximum of one inch from the front marks. If not, mark the back hem with your chalk. Hold the ruler firmly in that angled position as you mark your hemline. Mark each side of pant legs. From your hemline, measure and mark two and a half inch hem allowance per wear guide just on the top leg. On this line, cut away the excess fabric. Note, if you don't have an overlock serger, then use pinking shears to cut along the marked allowance cut line. Turn your pants inside out. Note, because the military hem slants from front to back, the seam allowance fabric will not turn up evenly all the way around. Let out the inseams and outseams within the hem allowance section only by sewing a seam 1 8 inch away from the original seam. At the top of the raw cut line, tapering into the original seam at the hem turn back line. Back tack 3 to 4 stitches all seams from start to finish to keep the hem from coming apart. Carefully rip out the original seam just in the hem allowance section. There should be a total of one quarter inch on each seam to help release the hem allowance. Surge the raw edges around the top of the hem allowance. This will keep your raw edges from raveling if you cut with pinking shears, surging the hemline is not needed. Use a blind stitch machine to sew hem in place. Make sure the pickup stitch is enough that it does not fully show on the right side, but it has picked up enough fabric to secure the finished hem. Turn back along the marked hemline and press hem flat. 